Hello guys, how are you doing? So, have you noticed that despite recent progress, artificial intelligence is nowhere near human intelligence or AGI as well? So, I would like to invite you to for this conversation where I'd like to give my uh, opinion, my in insights on why that is the case and how maybe, in my opinion, where we can start to, to solve the problem, okay? Uh, so let me first quickly introduce myself. I'm Mario Lustosa, and I am the CEO of a startup. We develop uh, uh, applications that uh, work with artificial intelligence, etc. My background is, on, is in biology, so that's, that's, that's it. And, um, I, and in this, this talk, as well as other talks that I'm going to be giving, I would like to invite you to have a conversation about these ideas, but not just the way we normally see like interviews and talks about artificial intelligence and about science in general. So what I'd like to propose to you, if you accept, is a, a channel, a place where we can actually try, at least try me together with you and someone else that we can invite or something, that we can try to push the envelope, you know, um, have ideas, new ideas, not just talk about, oh, this is great, oh, uh, deep learning is nice, and it works like this, not just explain, but a little bit like Lex Friedman does, where he asks the, his interview, his uh, uh, guests to explain how they think they could, we could reach AGI, etc. So try to go beyond what is currently available, okay? Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cover everything here, but, and, and, I, and I don't want to just give away give out give, give out give away everything in the first uh, talk in the first uh, conversation so I, I just made these bullet points here for actually to remind me of a few things I would like to cover so quickly uh, the first point is this why isn't is age is, 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 haven't we reached AGI, AGI? Uh, so you can notice that even though we have deep neural nets that can play Go and you know video games and that can do machine translation, which is uh, amazing, like Google Translate and stuff like that, uh, we can't like have a conversation with you know Android. Like say, when, when we say the word, I can't say the word here because the app will probably launch. But you know, you know, you launch the app, you know, with Google or Siri and you say, oh, uh, what do you think about this? What about that? Or this and that? And eventually in the first or second question, the, 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 the conversation breaks down, right? Okay, so um, the first point I think it's, is, is interesting to, to understand, in my opinion, is this. Uh, AI researchers, right? They don't, as far as I, as, as, as far as the, the as I've seen, they don't talk about much about this first point. So, what is the first point of intelligence? Uh, they don't talk much about understanding. Okay, so they say what is intelligence and how does it work or whatever, and it's, then they go and say, well, it is the ability to achieve goals, right? And then they start trying to achieve goals be it recognize cats or drive a car or do this and that and that's that's great it's impressive what they can achieve but then if there's a slight variation in what they in what they want to achieve it breaks down right and i mean the universe is so varied uh, that it always breaks down so here's the point either you have models and and uh, billions of examples and brute force and prepare systems to solve each problem of the universe which could be i don't know a billion a trillion you know 10 trillion or whatever so even either you create each one of these models and put machines behind it and billions of uh, libraries or you solve one problem which is intelligence right 
So you don't need you don't need to solve all the problems in the world and then put it inside a machine and say, oh, we have solved all the problems in the world. Now it is intelligent. No. Now it is a, it is a library of solutions to problems. <laughs> okay? You just need to solve one problem, which is intelligence. If you solve intelligence, you can solve all the other problems, right? But this seems too obvious. But why am I, why am I saying this, if, it's, if it sounds obvious? Because... They, in my opinion, they talk very little about this. And the first point that they should be looking into is first, what is intelligence? And in my opinion, the first thing that intelligence is, is the ability to understand. Okay? The ability to understand. So, uh, reasoning is, is, is also an important part of it. So, can a neural net understand our conversation? Right? Can GPT-3 understand what it's doing when it's building those models and stuff? I think not. I think it's a simulation. It's, it's a simulation that it's something that looks like understanding, but it's really, but it's actually brute force and billions of examples and code and statistics. It's not real understanding. Do you see what I mean? So uh, the first point that I would like to say is this. So there's reasoning, but I'm going to keep this here for a while because reasoning is like understanding plus going beyond understanding like, oh, I get this. So what else can we do? And then we start, you start mixing concepts in your mind and there's cre creativity that enters here as well. None, this is, none, of, none of this is done exists here, right? Now, this is great stuff. Like what Google is doing and what uh, OpenAI is doing is amazing, right? I'm not saying it's not amazing, but um, can we achieve, reach AGI? Can we achieve artificial de general intelligence, human level intelligence with this kind of, of system? Maybe, I don't know, but I, I, I suspect not. I suspect they may get there, but if they get there quickly, uh, uh, soon, I suspect they'll, they'll probably change a few things in it and add more stuff because just as it is, I don't think so, right? So, um, so like I said, this is like brute force and billions of examples which humans don't need, right? Human, humans need toddlers, children, adults. They often need one example or two or three and they get it and they can do whatever you want. Now here, they need, for example, GPT-3, as far as I know, there's 175 billion parameters transformer, right? So, okay, now, like John Searle, I put here just to remind me, is a philosopher that gave a talk in, at Google recently, and he said, you know, these, uh, the current age, uh, deep learning, etc., they, they don't reason, they have no semantics, they have only syntax, etc. So what is intelligence? Right? What is intelligence? It's a bunch of things which I mentioned before. And I don't think it is the ability to achieve goals primarily. Right? I think this is one of the, one of the abilities that, that you have if you're intelligent. I think the core one, the core is understanding plus, plus reasoning or second, secondarily reasoning. So these, this is probably the first and then it's probably the second. Right? So but the more importantly, the more important question which I don't remember having seen anyone ask or answer this question. They, every AI talk, almost every AI talk, they ask, what is intelligence? And, you know, people try to answer that. I don't think this is, well, it is interesting, but this is the more interesting question. And it sounds like almost the same thing, right? But it's not. How does intelligence work? Right? So, don't waste too much time trying to see what intelligence is. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, it, it does matter, but I mean, it's many things, right? The ability to understand, to reason, to predict the future, to achieve goals, to whatever. Everybody knows that. Now, how does it work? Does anybody know that? So they should focus here and not here. You know, like Lex Freedom, for example, I love his channel Amazing. Uh, very often, what is intelligence? As far as I remember. 
and other people. So this is the question they should be asking, right? If you say, if you ask this, they, then you would be forcing the other person to think about it. If he is a machine learning specialist, he probably doesn't spend too much time here, I don't think so. They spend a lot of time in coding and making neural nets to recognize cats and stuff. Because not, I'm not, look, I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is this, usually people who work with neuroscience, psychology, scientists of this kind, I think they pay more attention to this than machine learning guys. Or may, maybe I'm wrong, but all I'm saying is how does intelligence work? How does it work? And it's a hard question. No one knows, right? I would like to uh, say what I, how I think it works and give my, uh, share my ideas, my insights in the next videos. But um, uh, so if you know how intelligence works, how intelligence uh, works, you could, you could solve this and then you don't need this, right? Brute force and maybe you use this as a, as a, as part of it, as part of the solution, but maybe this is part of the solution, maybe it's not even part of the solution. They are great systems, but you know, I think we need more. Now, um, this, uh, these, uh, let me talk a little bit, just I'm almost finishing here. So, building blocks. Why did I put this here to, re to remind me? Um, you say, oh, but how can you solve AGI and reach human uh, level intelligence um, if, you know, this is too difficult. I mean, unless you're Google or Apple or Microsoft or Amazon or whatever, or the US government, or how can you, how can you solve this, right? And I think it doesn't have to be that difficult or that massive because of this, right? So if, if you can understand a little bit of this and you can build a few building blocks. Okay, so, get, so let me give you an example. Suppose you need to, buy, to, to build a cathedral, a beautiful cathedral, uh, like a, a, a medieval cathedral. I say medieval because we're gonna need bricks, right? Just for this example. So, well, you don't need to, it, let's just for the sake of the argument, you, you, you shouldn't have to need to understand all architecture or, engineer, or, 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 or the engineering of the whole cathedral. You, you just have to understand, if you could understand how, how it works, oh, it's one brick on top of the other and the bricks do this and support this and that. If you can make one brick, then you have the, the basic building block. Once you can, if you are able to do, if you are able to do one, you can do a million, right? And once you make one, once you understand how it works and you can make one brick, then you can build a million bricks, a billion bricks. So we should try to create intelligence, understand how it works, and then try to create it at a very small uh, level, very small level, right? Like an air conditioner, right? It, it senses the, the, the environment and it knows that the temperature is, has, has uh, increased and it turns on and it cools the, the environment until it turns off and so on and so forth. Of course, that's very mechanical, very simple. But suppose you can do something very simple, but that can learn. If you can make one thing like that, I'll say, oh, but deep neural nets are like that. But they are not the kind of building blocks we, blocks we need because we need understanding. The system, even though it's small, it needs to be able to understand a little bit. That's the trick, right? But you don't, in my opinion, you don't need to build the whole human brain so that in the end, it will understand everything. No, maybe a small sample can, is, can, can, might be able to, under, to, to have some understanding. And I'll talk how we, I think we could maybe do, go about doing this. Okay, so I guess that's uh, it. The, the, the video is probably very long now. Um, I'm gonna talk about language in the next video and why this is important. The reasons why I think this is great is because we can help, it can help, if we, if we can, if humanity can achieve AGI, maybe we can solve, you know, cure, curing, uh, cure diseases and, you know, solve all, all, many, many other problems, right? So I think this is fascinating, very important. If I can 
contribute just like a very, very like a, a drop in, in the on the ocean in the ocean. I'll, I'll be happy for that. And I'd like to invite you to other talks about biotech, uh, physics, quantum physics, science in general. Just just for the for the fun of it. But this is like a little more serious. This and biotech, I take very seriously, because I I'd, I'd like to uh, 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 help with curing disease. My small little tiny help. But that's, I think that, uh, that's like my, my, my goal, my cause, okay? But I'd like to invite you, please comment here, uh, share. If anyone, scientist, uh, machine learning uh, scientist, whoever wants to talk to me, send DM, you know, send a message, comment here, uh, record a video responding to my talk, and then I'll, I'll, I'll make more videos. In the next videos, I'll talk more deeply about this and tell, share my ideas of how we can actually maybe start to achieve AGI and understanding and reasoning. Okay, like I said, my background is biology, so I, I love neuroscience, I've, I've been studying neuroscience, psychology, so it's like my ideas about the brain and machine learning mixed and how we can achieve that, okay? Thank you very much, please subscribe, comment, send me a message, let's talk about this, okay? Thank you very much, guys, bye-bye.